It was a bright Saturday afternoon here in historic downtown Norcross, similar to many others in the past. A couple friends and I decided this would be an ideal location to settle in for the day as we awaited the approaching trains, with NS211 being our first from Croxton, New Jersey to Inman Yard in Atlanta, Georgia. As 2.11 goes by, we can't help but notice the overwhelming stench of the trash container service added to 2.11 sometime in November of last year. Originating in New York and being transported to a landfill in Uniontown, Alabama. About 30 minutes after 2.11 goes through town, our next train, an S203, rolls by with a 2x2 locomotive configuration consisting of two up front and two on the rear. This train originates in Rutherford, Pennsylvania and terminates at Inman Yard in Atlanta, Georgia. Once 203 had cleared out the way, I later got word that a GREX maintenance of way locomotive owned by Loram would be making its way south to lay ties about a mile or two down the tracks from me, with GREX 6008 in the lead. GREX 6008 was rebuilt from BNO GP3838823, which was then later inherited by CSX S2023, then off to HLCX S3628, and now GREX 6008 as we know it. Behind the lead locomotive consisted of what's called the slot train, with an excavator present on top of the gondolas to lay and pick up ties as well as a specialized flat car on the rear. According to Loram's website, the slot train is capable of ditching, tie pickup, rail pickup, tie distribution, and more. Also being able to pick up 1500 ties per hour and drop off 2000 ties per hour. But enough with the history lesson, let's get on to the train itself. It would be escorted down by a high railer about a mile ahead of it, just to ensure the way is clear before it proceeds.
Now on to our last and final train of the day being NS-265 with two NS units up front aside from the usual BNSF power, originating in Charlotte, North Carolina to Memphis, Tennessee. While it was hot for the six hours I stayed out to film, I'd say it was another great day of trains, rail fanning with friends, and interesting catches. But let me know what you guys thought of this video, as it's my first commentary and I'd love to know what you guys thought of it. With that being said, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you guys trackside.